Hi, I'm Bernard Klingenberg, and in this video, I want to show you how to describe the distribution of a categorical variable. I want to do this using an app I've designed for the, for the uh, textbook you see in the background. Now, remember, a categorical variable is one where each observation falls in one out of several categories. Let's look at an example, and I'm going to use example two in chapter two of the book. Let me get there for a, uh, give me a second to get there. So. Uh, I'm in the book uh, in chapter two, which is about exploring data with graphs and numerical summaries. If you scroll down a couple of pages, uh, you'll see an example on shark attacks. Um, this picture, by the way, was taken by me uh, while uh, scuba diving in the Maldives. Although for this particular one, uh, this was actually taken from a boardwalk. Uh, so what this, the shark attack data does, it records the region in which a shark attack occurred. Um, the data are actually given on the next page. You can see them here. We list a couple of regions, a couple of US states and some other international, uh, or some other countries where shark attacks occurred. And for each of those regions, we uh, saw how often there was a shark attack over a specific uh, period of time. And this one uh, is for, or it uh, concerns shark attacks between uh, 04 and, and uh, 013. When we describe the distribution of a categorical variable, we want to look at two things. A frequency table, such as a table you see here, and a chart. Now, I'm going to use a web app to show you those two things. Um, follow me along to go to the Art of Stat website. I'm going to go over there in a second, right here. Um, go to artofstat.com. Once you're there, click on web apps. And then the very first app there is about exploring categorical data. So click on that app and um, select a data set, uh, as, uh, select the shark attacks as the data set that we want to look at that's pre-implemented. And this is not quite the one from the book. This only looks at uh, US states here. So the two things you want to look at when describing a categorical variable are a frequency table, such as this table here, and a chart that shows the distribution graphically, such as the bar chart shown here. Now the frequency table simply lists, lists all the possible categories, and here are all the states where shark attacks occurred, and then how often each of those states had a shark attack. 33 times, for instance, in California, 203 times in Florida. The corresponding bar chart simply lists the different categories, here are the states on the x-axis, and uh, has the counts on the y-axis so that each bar represents the counts. So 203 for Florida or 33 for California. Now instead of counts, we could also plot the percentages on the y-axis. Then we see that of all the shark attacks uh, in our variable, 52% occurred in Florida and 8.53% occurred in, in California. If you want to plot the bar chart horizontally instead of vertically, you can click on horizontal bar charts, which shows it, which, which just plots the bars uh, horizontally. Uh, you can show the counts if you want to display here. Uh, and you can actually sort, which is often useful, sh sort the categories from the most frequent to the least frequent. That's then called the Pareto chart uh, with this option here. Uh, the Pareto principle actually says only very few categories, maybe the only the first or the, the two or three most frequent categories account for almost all of the observations. So if you actually look at the percentages, maybe the first three states account for roughly what, 52 plus circa 55, 70% of all the cases. Um, a second chart you might have definitely heard of that displays the distribution of a categorical variable is a pie chart. So I'm actually gonna click out here and then maybe not show the counts. Again, uh, I can get a pie chart by clicking this option here. And if I want, I can color these uh, bars here in, in the same colors. So a pie chart uh, simply gives uh, an area of the pie proportional to the percentage of the category. A pie chart is a nice way of seeing how all the different categories are part or contribute to the part of, uh, to the part of a whole, which is not as easily seen from, from the bar chart. For instance, here it's, it's hard to judge if all the bars add up to 100%. That's easy to judge from here. But if you have several categories, more than three or four, pie charts get hard to read because it's hard to compare 
uh, these more or less or these, these less frequent categories. A donut chart is simply a modern version of a pie chart where you eat now the middle of the pie. All right, uh, this uh, looked at this, uh, or, or the way our data were represented was we were given uh, a table, right? We had the states and the frequency of each state of the, in terms of the number of shark attacks. Now, if you want, you can enter your own frequency table. If you have that, select a number of categories. Suppose you have four categories for the variable you mentioned. Um, this could be favorite color. And then um, maybe you just put, you put your categories in here and then your observations, your counts in, in here, and then you just pr proceed along the way. Now, a third option you might have data available is as in, in raw form. Now I'm gonna illustrate showing you an Excel spreadsheet uh, that corresponds to their shark uh, attack file or data set that I've showed you before. So let me switch over to my Excel spreadsheet. In this spreadsheet, we really just have uh, each individual observation listed. So the first observation was a shark attack that occurred in Florida. The second observation was a shark attack that also occurred in Florida. The third observation was a shark attack that occurred in North Carolina. The fourth was one that occurred in South Carolina. So someone created, uh, this was, might have been the raw data set uh, of which you know, the, uh, the table was created. And this might, the number C might refer to the chronological order, the, the way the observations came. Now in total, right, you can scroll all the way down in this Excel spreadsheet, we have all the, all the, how many do we have? 387 observations here. I can simply now grab them from the, from the spreadsheet, copy them. So here, take the individual observations. I'm gonna copy them, and now I'm gonna paste them over into the app. So I'm gonna switch over to the app. To do that, under enter data, select individual observations because that's what we have. And now I don't wanna type all the observations in here because there's too many, but I simply copy and paste the observations in here. And now you see the exact same frequency table that I've showed you before. Maybe it's sorted a little bit differently, um, but there's the 387 observations and the same bar chart that you've seen before. All right, this uh, concludes the video of how to describe the distribution of a categorical variable using a frequency table uh, and a bar chart. Now play around with this app, enter your own data, use different data sets um, uh, to, to sort of see uh, the graphical representation of different distributions. Goodbye.